let's go make wudu with the hijab in a public restroom. Okay, yeah, so let's not do that. What I realize is that I have the confidence to make wudu in public restrooms all the time, but to make a TikTok of myself making wudu in a public restroom, I don't have that level of confidence or maybe it's cringe yet. I don't know. So let's do it in a private restroom. Basically, what you want to do when you are wearing hijab and you are going out and you're worried that for some reason, if you remove your hijab and the door is open, people are going to see you, for example or for whatever reason, you're not comfortable removing your hijab, which by the way, in the Shafi'i Madhab, it is permissible for other women to see you without your hijab. Like, of unless you're worried about a particular woman going to describe you and your features and your hair, that's not like the general, like a random woman who sees you remove your hijab and make wudu goes out and tells other people, have you seen those women who like, you know, cover their hair, they're so gorgeous. And if you don't wanna remove your hijab for a particular reason, in the Shafi'i Madhab, this is what you do. First, before we talk about hair, we need to talk about face. So obviously right now, as you can see, my hijab is covering even my face. M my, my face has like, you know, this area, this area. It's actually my face that's being covered. It's not just my hair. And so you need to wash all of that air area as well when you're making wudu on your face. So you're going to want to take water and remove, you know, move this portion back, move this portion back if that's how you wear your hijab and make sure that the water washes all areas of your face. After you're done with your face, then, you know, continue to make wudu. When you get to the hair part, this is what you do. Once you've done the face, do the rest of the wudu and then you're going to get to the hijab portion. So you're going to get water and then you're going to wipe a portion of your hair connected to your head. So for example, you're obviously not gonna see my hair, but I'm gonna remove this portion and show you the undercap. Pretend that's your hair. So you get water, wipe a portion of the hair connected to the head, and that's it. You just do that one time. And then after that, you are going to stick your hands inside of your hijab to be able to do your ears, and that's all you need to do for the portion related to the hair if your hijab is still on and you don't wanna remove it in public.